Hi, today I would like to discuss a topic which is commonly neglected, least understood, however very important at the undergraduate level and also for the postgraduate entrance that is setting chemistry of glass anomer cement. So basically GIC is available as powder and liquid. So this powder contains calcium aluminum fluorosilicate, it's an acid soluble powder and the liquid contains water and also mainly polyacrylic acid along with other copolymers such as eticonic acid, malic acid or tartaric acid. So when the powder and liquid are mixed, we expect a chain of reactions happening within the matrix. So let's discuss regarding those details. Initially, when the powder and liquid are mixed, there is something called as acid attack phase so in the acid attack phase the acid present in the liquid attacks the powder particles which is termed as acid attack phase following which there is something called as dissolution so after acid attack what happens is the various ions present within the powder are released into the reaction medium. We have something called as a reaction medium formed by water. The same water which is present in the liquid. So this reaction medium plays a major role as it helps or enables the setting to occur. So what happens is in the dissolution phase, the various cations present in the powder that is calcium, aluminium, fluoride and sodium so these ions are released into this reaction medium so apart from these ions we have various carboxylic acid chains so these carboxylic acid chains are nothing but polyacrylic acid so after dissolution we have not something called as cross-linking phase so once ions are released into the reaction medium as we have seen here they help in cross-linking of the polyacrylic acid chains so carboxylic acid chains are cross-linked with calcium so this cross-linking is very much important as it imparts the strength and also integrity to the set cement so initially this cross-linking happens with calcium ions but within 24 hours these calcium ions are replaced by aluminium ions this is very important we need to keep that in mind so within 24 hours these calcium ions are replaced by aluminium ions so this is nothing but cross-linking phase and then we have something called as maturation So once this cross-linking happens, the entire matrix is hydrated over time with water. So this gets hydrated with water, which is termed as maturation. So hydration of the entire set matrix with water over time is called as maturation. And this phase is a really very, impart, very important as this maturation imparts structural stability, strength, to the gel uh, structure so this maturation really helps the set cement to overcome any insensitivity caused by moisture we need to keep that in mind so this is in brief regarding the chain of reactions happening once we mix a powder with liquid and apart from these things another important aspect we need to keep in mind is not all powder particles do participate in the reaction there are few unreacted powder particles so these unreacted powder particles are surrounded by silica sheath this silica sheath is formed during the acid attack phase wherein the ions are leached into the reaction medium. So during the acid attack phase, the powder particles release certain ions and they are then in that process surrounded by silica sheath. 
This entire set matrix is a combination of unreacted powder particles surrounded by silica sheath which are embedded in an hydrated amorphous matrix made up of calcium and aluminium polysols. So here apart from these ions we have also fluoride ions as well as sodium ions. So sodium ions, a few of the sodium ions do participate in the cross-linking by replacing hydrogen present in the carboxylic groups. Whereas the rest of the sodium ions and the fluoride ions just fill up or they are uniformly distributed all over the matrix. So apart from this, we need to understand the role of water. The role of water is very much important and crucial. Water plays dual role. First, it forms a reaction medium wherein the entire reaction or the setting process do occur. And secondly, it helps in maturation. So maturation, as I have said, enables the gel structure to remain stable, stronger and to resist any kind of insensitivity caused by moisture. So keeping these facts in mind, we need to understand that a newly set cement is very much sensitive to moisture. The moment there is uh, exposure of this set cement to ambient air without any protective agent over the cement, what happens is there will be crazing and cracking of the set cement because of desiccation of water. On the other hand, when there is contamination of this set cement with water or the cement with water, there will be leaching of various calcium and aluminium ions. These are matrix forming ions. So when there is contamination of the cement with water, there can be leaching of these very important ions thereby compromising the integrity of the set cement. So care has to be taken in order to protect the cement immediately as well as after few days after placement with a proper protective layer such as a petroleum jelly or even a varnish. So this is in brief the setting of glass anomer cement.